All right, girls, don't want to waste any more time. I am recording. So those that missed the video, I will share this with them later at another time. But thank you again for being here and your desire and initial interest of just, you know, trying to find out what all entails being a volleyball manager. All right. So I don't think this is going to last more than 30 minutes. Um, that's my goal. And then you guys can enjoy the rest of your generals time. But pretty much, you know, this is my third year um, coaching at Shiloh. Um, I used to coach in the park cluster. And I'm just like excited to grow the program to be something that, you know, people, girls from all over the county are wanting to play, you know, for the generals. So that's my goal. My vision is to, you know, build a a program that, you know, the community could be proud of, the girls can be proud of, and, you know, you know, like I said, people take notice of who we are. Um, so I'm going to go straight to the manager's page. So if you guys want to get more information and just get a feel for the program, you guys can go to shilohgeneralsvolleyball.com. And I'm just going to put that in the chat for you guys to look over later. But the moment you like tell me, okay, Mrs. Cicerone, Coach Cicerone, this is what I want. It's what I want to do. I will give you um, the team sign-in access. So what you would do up here at the top, you would click because um, that's like the, you need special access to get inside of the website. Um, so you would just create a sign up, um, go through that, put your email, let me know that you're a manager. Um, and then you would always have accessibility to the inside scoop of the website. So I already have one. So I'm just going to go straight to log in. Um, and I'm going to log in with Google. So I signed up with my Google account what makes it easier and what you see here is you know you have like a personalized says hello your name um, whenever you do sign in so i'm going to go here and you see these are the pages that the outside community does not have access to right this is for players coaches and managers so i have a, a page designated just for managers and i'm just going to go through like the role of a manager, because I I had this presentation last year for my managers. All right, so I'm just gonna open this. So I want my managers to be efficient. And if you know what that word means, like you you know how to manage your your time, your resources, you work well. Like, because I want serious people who are coming alongside to fulfill my vision, which is to building like one of the fastest growing programs. Um, am I, are you guys able to hear me um, smoothly? Because it looks like I'm lagging. Okay, awesome. So here are, you know, this is going to describe what you think you're signing up for. All right, so I expect my managers to be committed and present, right? If you're gonna be absent from a practice or game, then you're gonna provide 24 hours notice, right? I wanna help build you guys for, you know, the workplace when you guys start working and outside of high school, right? Establishing those good um, character um, attributes now, um, of course, you have one warning, one time to not tell me or tell the coach that you're working with that you're not going to be present. And then after that, I'm just going to ask you to, you know, step down and, you know, because you're not taking this serious. Um, you have to be responsible. So, of course, managers, um, they help the coaches upkeep with the equipment. Um, and then there's also things pertaining to like 
whatever is being said and talked about in our like um, meetings or our team meetings or anything pertaining to the team, we should be able to trust you and not to, you know, you're not bad mouthing the program. You're not talking um, things outside of the people that it pertains to. All right. And then you're a part of the volleyball program. Because when I first got here, it seemed like the managers were like outside and like they didn't feel like included, but that quickly changed with me. Um, but you, I want you to feel that you're a part of the team without managers, a program cannot run smoothly. Yes, you have duties that look different from the other team members, but you're still a valuable part of the team. So that's that. Um, my goal is to have a total of um, between three to four managers. I know it says five, but that's like the ideal situation. But three to five um, managers per team. I have three teams, the freshman team, the JV, and the varsity. Um, so like for you three ladies that are on today, if you guys choose to um, be managers with me, like you guys would be like my manager leaders since you were present at the first meeting. And, um, you know, I teach all of you. So I, I would put you guys, you know, in that position to help, you know, make sure that the other managers have, you know, fulfilled the, the duties and the roles. Um, but as you can see on the right hand side, you're keeping up with equipment. You're learning how to score track. Like everyone needs to know how to score track. Everyone needs to um, learn how to libero track. And I'll get into those later. Um, we record our games. Sometimes you have to be a line judge. Sometimes you have to be stats keeper, like you're on the bench keeping stats and then sending the scores to me after each match. Um, and then of course these roles, cause you know, there'll be three to five per team, you guys would rotate. It's not like one person is gonna always be the score tracker for every game. Like you guys need to know how to do everything so that, um, you know, when you rotate and, you know, one week you can be doing one thing in a, one role and then the other weeks you could be something else. So you should be knowledgeable of everything. And um, any questions so far about the duties? So that's, this basically sums up what you guys would be doing. Now, the majority of um, the things on here is very simple, right? If you know how to follow directions, you would be fine with, you know, if I'm telling you to put an equipment up, you guys would get a tour of like where everything goes. The hardest thing I would say is um, the third and the second and third bullet. So, this and this score tracking, um, that's actually like more intensive, extensive, um, where you're you're gonna have to watch videos to learn how to do that. And I'm gonna share those links with you guys if you still decide to come on. Now, um, everything else is very simple. Um, and score tracking is not hard once you get the hang of it. But you know, you guys would have all summer, right? To practice with us as we have our summer practices. Um, so if you guys choose to come on as managers, um, I would need not everyone, I would need a couple volunteers to come in on the Monday after we get back from spring break. Cause I'm trying to like make sure we have a, an updated inventory of what we have in our closet going into the next season and then just um, organizing uniforms and making sure we see what uniforms we have so I know what to order before the season. So, um, but other than that, you guys wouldn't need to come until um, tryouts. I would want you guys present for tryouts and then um, in the summer, starting in June and July, we just meet three days a week, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and it's not every single week of the summer either. So um, it's like probably for a total of, if there's eight weeks in summer, we will meet for five of those weeks. Um, so yeah.
All right, so again, like I said, um, those that, you know, you say, okay, I want to be a manager for Coach Cicero, um, you would just sign up, right, where I've showed you guys um, to sign up, and then I would approve you, and then you guys will have access to the manager's page, um, the manager's page. Um, again, keeping score and libero tracking would be the hardest part of your job, and it's not that hard. Um, but there's a video that I'm going to update the video. There's a video on there, but I feel like I found a better video. So that'll be there. Now for managers, there is a small um, dues fee. Now it's $50 if you're choosing to just pay it all. Um, however, every year in the summer, we do a cheesecake um, fundraiser. So if you sell 15 cheesecakes, um, by the due date, and that due date is going to change. If you sell 15, you don't have to pay dues. Um, so that covers it. But if you are not like a good seller or you don't like doing fundraisers, then $50 is what you would be responsible for paying. And it's going to cover manager t shirts, your pregame meals, because every home match we eat together and the program um, buys it. Um, and then your banquet ticket and banquet gift. All right, so that's all really that I have. Um, if you guys are still, you know, it sounds like something that you want to be a part of. Look at sharing my screen. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> if this is still something you want to be a part of, then definitely let me know. You can send me a direct message now in the chat or you can let me know an email, um, but pretty much that's what it takes to be a manager. I'm about to put in the chat, like if you kind of want to see what the floor tracking is like, I'm going to just show you a quick video. I'm not going to play the whole thing. So pretty much this is what the volleyball sport tracking looks like um, as far as the sheet, pretty similar. Ours might look different with, you know, where things are placed, but ultimately these are the components. Um, and in volleyball, you have six players on a court. So you see the numbers here go up to six, Roman numeral six. Um, you would have to put the player numbers and then you're just keeping track of the scores. The scoring so this video tells you you know it goes into details of how you would score what happens if they lose the team loses the, the um the serve or they lose the point and this is going to go in the chat now and then there's also a special defensive player on the court, which is called a libero. So that libero has to stay in the back row only, and you have to track who that libero is coming in for. And then here's the video for that. So those two things would be the hardest thing that you would need to learn to do. And then other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. So um, I can also give you guys a link to the PowerPoint if you want to look at it again. Because right now you guys don't have access to this. But if you were to tell me you want to be a manager, you would then have access with the um, inside inside scoop portion. All right, so three links, well, really four links, the website, the libero, no, the score tracking, the regular score tracking for the whole game, the libero tracking, and then the presentation. Nardos, I see your hand. Um, okay, so first I can be there Monday if you need me, like when you said the data come in. Okay. Um, and 
second um okay so like let's say it's a practice because i get like we have to attend the games well okay i have two questions when it comes to that so with the practices what if like we miss a practice because like we have clubs like a mm-hmm. club meeting would that be okay yes okay yes as long as you guys are all not missing like let's say the three or four of you that are managing for varsity right Mm -hmm. um if all four of you can't be there then that's going to be a problem because i need at least one or two but if you guys like alternate the practices are um yes you need to be there but they're not as like necessary as games the games are like oh we need the managers for the games Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I also already have access. So I looked through the calendar and I don't know if it's the updated version, but, um, I saw like varsity and like JV and stuff like the alternate days, like for their games. Okay. So let me pull up the program calendar. It should be updated. Yeah. That's the one I looked at. Yeah. This is updated. So yes, it has so. everything for October. Like you're even able to see all the games we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I looked at that. And I saw like um, like Varsity and stuff, like they'll have different days for their games. Mm-hmm. So Varsity always plays on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then JV and freshmen, they play on one- Monday, Wednesdays. There's some days where JV will play with Varsity, like on the same day, like if a team, like a coach reached out to me and said, oh, can you bring your JV to um, this game? Um, You know, there's some instances where JV and varsity are together. I think there's two, but ultimately, yes, um, the teams are pretty much separate from varsity. Okay, so does that mean that if you were to have enough managers to where like every team has like different sets and only that manager would have to go to like that game? Oh yeah, if whatever team that you're managing, that's who you're sticking with. Like you would go to, if you're a varsity manager, you're going to the varsity practices and games. If you're a JV manager, you only worry about JV practices and games and so on and so forth for ninth grade. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? You're asking good questions. All right, so um, that's all. And see, it wasn't even 20 minutes. Um, but if you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. Um, if you wanna think about it some more, right? You can tell me um, that, you know, the week we come back from spring break and then what else? If you know definitely this is what you wanna do, you can let me know now in the chat. Or if you're bold, you can unmute and say it out loud. Okay, so I would be interested. My only like problem is like the schedule. So I just need to check with like, you know, my parents first so I can be mm-hmm. like, wait, everything else is fine. Awesome. So yes, yeah, so you could show them, um, well, you don't have the well, Candace, if you wanted to go ahead and just sign up still on the page to be able to show your parents the schedule and everything. And if you decide not to, I'll just like remove your privilege, but um, you can go ahead and do so. And I could approve you just so you can have the, the calendar. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, girls, that's all she wrote. I will see. Nope, I had all of you yesterday, so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, Missy. Bye, lady. You too.